In this video, let's talk about the E13 pressure transducer failed error message. So the pressure transducer under normal operation has 5 volts DC go into it and then it fluctuates the voltage back to the control depending on the pressure in the pot. A valid reading from the pressure transducer back to the control is between 0.5 volts DC to 4.5 volts DC. If we get a reading back from the pressure transducer that is lower than 0.25 volts DC, then we get an E13A error code. That could be like an open circuit or disconnected or connection error or problem with the transducer. So in those cases, bring a transducer with you, check the connection. If the connection's good, um, then replace the transducer. If we get a reading that's greater than 4.75 volts, then we'll get an E. 13B error code. And so in those cases, something's typically wrong with the pressure transducer, and we'd want to replace that as well. So to sum all that up, an E13A is a signal that's too low or voltage that's too low. E13B is voltage that's too high going back to the control. And so in any of those cases, bring a transducer with you, check the connections, make sure everything's good there, make sure it's all cleaned out all the way to the transducer and uh, we should be in good shape there. Now one more thing to add on the E13 is that when the control sees that the transducer is giving a weird reading like that, the fryer is no longer going to pressurize. And so during any cook cycle that has pressure programmed into it, while the customer is cooking, they're going to see a message on there that the fryer is not able to pressurize during that cook cycle. And so that could be what generates your service call on this.